Welcome back to the Sports Mag Zone. We continue to relive some of the top moments from the 51st Carifta Games. Trinidad and Tobago's Janae DeGans walked away with the prestigious Austin Sealy Award at the end of three gripping days of track and field in Grenada. The Austin Sealy Award is presented to the most outstanding performer at the Carifta Games. The Gans leapt to a Carifta record of 6.50 meters on her first attempt to win the under-20 girls long jump. The mark also placed her at number three in the world in the under-20 category. The Gans joins us and of course she joins sprinter Daryl Brown, a two-time winner, middle distance runner Gavin Nero and hurdler and current team manager Jay Hugh Gordon as Trinbegonians to have won the Austin Sealy Award. Janae Gans joins us now via Zoom to talk about her success. Janae, welcome to the Sports Max Zone. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm doing fine, and I'm so happy that, of course, you and uh, Trinidad and Tobago, sweet, sweet Trinidad and Tobago, now has that Austin Sealy Award. Yes, it's um, really a pleasure to be given this award being the only female from Trinidad and Tobago to receive an award. It, it really, I'm just in awe at the moment. Yeah, talk to me though about just your overall experience at the Carifta Games. How was it for you now that you're back home and you finally got some time, well, hopefully you got some time to really sit back and think about what you did at the Carifta Games? Uh, I see I haven't sit back and thought about anything. I think I will take this week to actually sit back and reflect on what I did over the weekend. But you know, my first character game, I remember my first character game, I remember that I didn't meet it individually. And I was heartbroken, you know, I bawled my eyes out, but I used it as motivation in my second character game, which was in Bahamas. I wanted the gold medal, I didn't get the gold medal come second. And I said, Johnny, you know, this year you're going after that record, you're going after that gold gold medal. And I same thing, same thing I said, same thing happened. So yes. Janae, and I know it's not only because one, you cried, and two, you said, All right, I'm doing this. Talk to me about the work that went into Janae DeGans breaking these records and of course walking away with the top player. Um, I work really hard, you know, I, some days I feel like giving up, but my coaches always encourage me that, you know, sometimes it might feel like this way, but they must always stay focused, always trust in God and trust in yourself. And that was the words and encouragement from my coaches as well as my family, who are always there by my side, anything that goes wrong, you know, I go to, the, go to them and they always, you know, try and make me feel better. And, you know, I, I face a lot, you know, there's not that at home, you know, my mom is sick at the moment and I just use that as motivation to, to break the record. What did she say? I'm sure she's so happy that you <laughs> went to Grenada and you came back as a champion. Of course, of course. But, I, I made her cry as well. <laughs> yeah, really good stuff from you. Where in Trinidad and Tobago are you from and what school do you attend? Well, I'm originally from Tobago, but I call Tobago, so I'm much shorter with Tobago people as well. <laughs> but I, uh, I attend Bishop Anstey High School, Porto, Spain. Okay, very, very good, Lance. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I want to ask you quickly, um, Janae, about your earlier years in track and field, because I remember you winning awards uh, from, you know, a long time ago. I think there was an under-12 award that you had won from the... N3, N3As three um, mm -hmm. when you were probably in primary school. Um, can you take us back to those years and if you at that point had seen yourself achieving what you have now? Yes, I have. You know, I always trust in myself. As, as, as I said earlier, I have the support from my family and my family always makes sure that you know I'm good, I'm comfortable and want to make sure that I achieve great stuff. Yeah, and, you know, we always say that long jumpers need to be fast, and there are a lot of good sprinters who are excellent long jumpers as well. So 
your background not only is in long jumping, although you excel there, but how much has sprinting and, and track running assisted in your long jump development? I mean, it really helped me because I do both 100 and 200 meters, but this year I decided, you know, to do the long jump alone. And But my coaches, you know, always use speed to help me with um, speed work and help me, which helped me to get off, run on the track, run on the runway and, yeah. Um, Trinidad and Tobago's medal haul this year was pretty solid at the at the Carifta Games. In the past decade, there's been some years when TNT's medal haul dropped below, you know, what track and field fans in TNT and outside of TNT would have expected. How do you feel about the current state of track and field in the country and uh, its ability to to get back to its its best years? Well, I feel really great because this year Carifta gives you a look into be the record of 40 medals but we only got in 27 but i'm so proud of the team um we have a lot of great athletes in Trinidad and Tobago just that we need to develop properly and i think once we get proper programs and the support of course we will be able to you know hopefully get close to jamaica some some way somehow in the future but that's the hope yeah, talk to us about your team manager, Jehu Gordon, because he was an Austin Seal Award, Sealy Award winner himself back in 2010. And I, I, I gather that he played a really key role in motivating your team and, um, you know, inspiring the athletes. Can you say uh, something quickly about the impact that your team manager, Jehu Gordon, a former world champion as well, has had on this TNT Carifta team? Um, he always made sure that we were comfortable. He always asked, you know, if is anything you all need, and if it's anything we need, he always supplies. And he just was like a father figure to those that you know who don't have that father figure in their life. And he always encouraged us and motivated us as a team. So I shout out to Ju Gordon for the support that he's been giving us thus far. All right, you just mentioned earlier on trying to eventually challenge Jamaica who have been dominant for um, decades at the at the Carifta Games. Um, can you talk to us about the atmosphere at the Games and um, how challenging it is as a TNT athlete and even, you know, the other athletes from Guyana, Bahamas and so on in, in trying to, to, to fend off this Jamaican train, if you might call it that? Uh, first of all, you must trust in yourself because... I trusted myself to go out there and bring home the gold medal. And if if you've been training hard, you know, just stay patient. Because as I always say, like the mango, as in, like the mango tree, it always have a season and just, just you know, everything have a season. Just stay patient and just remember what is your reason, what, what is your purpose in coming out there. And I think once you just stay focused, you'll be able to defeat anyone. Yeah. Janae, I'm so impressed with you, which is why I would have asked you about the school that you attend, because I think that always has a very big part to play in any person's development. That's the reason I asked that question. You know, we here at Sportsmax were really, really proud because, you know, of course, there's a lot of questions as to should the award have gone to Janae or should it have gone to somebody else? There'll always be that discussion. But can you respond to that if I were to ask you? Just to the people oh. that are saying maybe you shouldn't get that award. I believe I did the award. There were many great... Um, there were many great athletes that performed great over the weekend. I must say kudos to them. But, you know, I really came out there and pushed myself on the first jump. You know, I jumped 6.5 jump, breaking a record. Yeah. And I told you earlier that, you know, my mom is sick. I went up injuries, back-to-back -back injuries leading up to Kaifta Game. But yeah. I put all that aside and, you know, make sure that you know that i come out there and do my country justice you know bring the first gold medal to trainer and to be able individually and making my team know that you know as the captain you know leading our examples for the rest of the team team to bring home medals as well and that same day we got three gold medals on the last day and also also i just believe you know this is the award you know coming in four by four really i wasn't supposed to run but I was feeling really sick 
my head was hurting. And I said, Johnny, do this for your team as a team captain, put everything aside and just run for Trinidad and Tobago. And yes, I believe I deserve the award. Yeah. I, want you to, I want you, Janet, to send some get well messages to your mom for us here. Um, coming from the Sports Mac Zone, we wish her a speedy recovery and we yeah. wish you the best of luck for the remainder of the year. I know World Juniors is coming up. That would be on your plate as well. So all the best to you and your family. Thank you. Take care, Jenny. Well deserved and congrats. You really deserved it. Thank you. Take care. All right, Jenny the Gans there, of course, the Austin Sealy Award winner. She had a stellar Carifta performance. And of course, we continue to, you know, follow her career as she grows from strength to strength. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.